folks. Um, I thought I'd share with you guys this sunny day that I was outside uh, with my mom and uh, it was really pretty. We went to the river and it, since all the snow is melted, there is a whole lot more water than there usually is, which was really fun. But um, today it was actually raining. Um, so I just wanted to share the sunshine that I had. get to the art vlog. And today we are trying out the Himi gouache. Mmm. Himai. Hi my. Just have to play around with it a little bit. Um anyway, so we're just gonna get right on into um well, look at this. They have paintbrushes. Isn't that neat? Nice. If I can only get them out. Ta-da! <laughs> um, success. I last. And yes, it has bristles. Um, genius. <laughs> Yeah, um, I wasn't going to peel them all on camera because um, it was time consuming. They were finicky and the more paint I got on my hands, the harder they were to open. So um, yeah, now we're just going to swatch. I just swatched the white. Could you tell? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> and so again, I was, I, I, I swatched them on the wrong... No, I had the camera on the wrong side, so my hand was constantly in the way while I was swatching. So, sorry about that. Um, you live and you learn. recently bought the Himi gouache off of Amazon. I had been seeing lots of other artists use it and they were saying it's kind of like watercolor um, as it's water soluble and um, you can wa water it down a lot 
but it's also kind of like acrylic because it's opaque. Um, you can use it in both ways, like if you add more water, it'll be less opaque and the less water you use, it'll be more opaque, etc, etc. Et um, but I had never used gouache before and um, this was a good first experience, I think. I really enjoyed it. Um, I really wanted to paint uh, strawberries. Um, just because I think the inside of the strawberry looks really pretty, but I'm actually really happy with the second strawberry layered behind it that you'll see later. Um, I find they have a slight impression, bleh, impressionistic style to them. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out. And I guess I'll let you guys just enjoy the paint. Um,
So yeah, I think they definitely have a more impressionistic vibe to them, they look better from afar. I think you guys have a pretty good angle on them, not straight on. Um, they can look a little ugly up close, but I'm very happy with how they turned out nonetheless. Um, lots of fun. <laughs> Ta-da! It's finished! <laughs> I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it worked out. And um, yeah, I obviously used a reference, which you could see several times through um, the video. It was really handy to just um, look up and um, have guidance. <laughs> really recommend, really good. And now we are here needle felting. My mom and I were in the dollar store and we found these wool dry dryer bowls, um, which are supposed to help with static, I think, or something like that. Anywho, um, we thought it would be really fun if I needle felted a mushroom onto one. And um, so that's what I did. Um, so, um, enjoy the stabbing sounds of the needle felt thing. Oh, fun fact, I broke like three needles on this. Not this one specifically, but like between the two projects I needle felted this afternoon, I broke three needles. Yay. <laughs>
really happy with how he turned out. Very cute. Um, very whimsy. I love him. And here we are working on our final project, Critter. Um, so right now I'm just wrapping his legs. I already have three finished. And now I'm just going to add a little extra floof to this dryer ball so he, could, so he can become a mushroom with chunky little cheeks. That 
was just my little sister coming in to see what I was doing. Um, she was scratching the ears of the teddy bear that was on my bed, um, if you were wondering. <laughs> So we have here some black felt that we are going to um, place as eyeballs. So I'm just going to poke that in right there. Stab, stab, stab. Throw. And here we go. Little black beady eyes. So cute. And what is a sentient mushroom without a little sparkle in his eye? So, yeah, just gonna stick that right there. It's gonna be really cute. Oh, the amount of times I've said cute, adorable, and lovely in this. <laughs> too much, but anyway. Is there too much cute when you have a mushroom? Mm, nope. They deserve all the cute. <laughs> mushroom friend has a mouth, he must therefore obviously have a tongue so he can taste all the yummy things. Yes. <laughs> And with that, I think we're done. I am very happy with all the things I made. Um, I feel very, like today was very productive. And um, please come back again, comment, um, like if you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, subscribe if you feel like sticking around. Love you, bye, drink water. Stop sign maybe? 